Hi GITV, Bobby Axeman Hildebrand here, and today we're going to be doing a tactical gearheads on the loadout I'm going to be taking to Airsoft GI's Assault on Antioch. Alright, so first and foremost I want to go over the protective gear I'm using on my head. Now, I've got an NX MI7 face mask that I'm rocking. I'm a big fan of these face masks because not only are they affordable, but they also come pre-installed with the thermal lens, and they also come with a visor that you can add on after you open up the box. Now, I'm a really big fan of these, and it also matches my ATAX camo scheme, which works as well. Now, further on, I've got a Milspec Monkey Cool Guy Hat Deluxe. It also comes with Ear Pro that I can use on the farm, the ranch, or the range, and it's great just about for everyday use as well, including the added Velcro space, which is a nice plus. Now, as far as my primary is concerned, I'm using my LM4 PTS, which I have finally added a rail kit to, which is great because I've got a lot of accessories. So first and foremost, I've got my uh, PTS rail vertical grip. I've also got a PTS Go Gun gas pedal, which helps with controlling the gun. I've also got a Manta rail cover, which I've put the pressure pad for my flashlight into. Makes it a lot easier to use on the airsoft battlefield. Also got some rail covers. One is a Boonock Saints team rail cover because I love that movie, as well as an American flag rail cover because freedom flows out of my gun. Now, as far as my sidearm, I'm actually going to be rocking a KWA HK45. I'm a big fan of this gun because the grip is so well contoured, it feels like an extension of my arm. It also holds just under 30 rounds in the magazine, making it a very usable pistol, even with just two extra mag mags which I'm holding on my Spectre Gear modular play carrier. Now I'm a big fan of this play carrier. It's very comfortable. It's got foam uh, foam on the inside that is channeled so that air can flow through the vest making me more comfortable. It's also an incredibly solid piece of kit. I've got Spectre Gear pistol magazine pouches. I've got a few Spectre Gear utility pouches on the left and right as well as a Spectre Gear hydration pouch on the back. I have a Condor Triple M4 magazine pouch just because I need some more magazine space. For communications I am using a very old Motorola uh, headset. I've actually puked in this thing a couple times and it keeps on kicking. I've also got a Motorola talk about I bought over a decade ago. Now further back on my other tactical tailor pouch, I've also got an Airsoft Innovations Tornado Grenade, the impact version. I love these grenades, they're very reusable and the impact grenades, once they hit something, they detonate and throw 200 BBs in every direction. Now further back, I've also got an individual first aid kit as well as my tomahawk right here for quick kills when I can't exactly get out my ax fast enough. And I also have uh, my triple lot design dump pouch here which I can just pull out just like that and extend and I'm gonna be able to use that very easily. It's very lightweight and I'm a big fan of it. Now I'm sure you're wondering what sling this is. This is actually a Magpul MS2 sling and on my back holding my axe is actually a Condor shotgun scabbard. I find that very useful for holding you know, any tri-shot uh, uh, shotgun available in the airsoft market or my axe. It's very handy and very usable. I've also got proper ATAX BDUs. I really like the ATAX style of camouflage which is why I'm rocking it so often. Now on my, uh, on my pants, I've got triple lot design pants with an integrated knee pad. I really like that factor because the knee pad is not going to go up and down on my person. And most importantly for me, I'm wearing Under Armour Tactical Valsets boots. I love these boots. They're the most comfortable pair of boots I own. Each boot weighs less than a pound and it feels like walking on a cloud of awesomeness. Well, without further ado, let's check out the second gun I'm going to be using at Assault on Antioch. Now as far as the AEG I'm going to be using for Assault on Antioch, I've got a Classic Army Full Metal Armalite M15A4 tricked out with an AMP 12 inch free float FFS rail. Now I like this setup because obviously it's going to give me a lot of rail state space with which I'm going to customize it out with a bunch of other accessories. Now at this game I'm also going to be testing out some Mechanics Wear 0.5mm high dexterity gloves and I got to tell you my initial impressions were that they are very comfortable to use, which is why I'm excited to take them out to GamePod and test them out on the field. I also, well, they're going to allow me to be able to use my smartphone while I've got these gloves on, so maybe I'll make a couple tactical phone calls. Who knows? I don't know. I'm not sure. Well, this is my loadout for Assault on Antioch. I hope you guys like this version of our tactical gearheads. I highly suggest checking out the tickets for Assault on Antioch coming up on July 12th and 13th. It should be a really great game, and the GamePod staff are consummate professionals, which means I'm really looking forward to this one. Well, once again, I'm Bob the Axeman Hildebrand, and this, this is GITV.